Hi, I'm excited to show you Cribwise, a cutting-edge inventory management software developed by Sandvik for the cutting tool industry. With Cribwise, job shops get control over their inventory while also optimizing the purchasing process. The result? Reduce costs, increase productivity, and a boost in growth. Cribwise is easy to use, fully customizable, and vendor agnostic, which means it stores and manages any tool brand. Let's take a look. Portal Admin. In the Administrator Portal, the dashboard provides you with a real-time overview of stocks and devices. In the upper right corner, you can check who is logged into the system at that moment. The side menu displays all system functions. The report section is where you manage item consumption reports and automate report generation and submission routines. In the purchase lists area, you define purchase orders, transfer lists and services. Here in inventory, the actual quantities of items in your inventory are adjusted. Overviews provide the current situation of items in stock. Data management is where all data systems are set up, users are created, and stock structure is prepared for working with the system. Finally, the administration section includes all operations related to system features, initial setup of the software, and its users. Dashboard. When you log into Cribwise, the first screen displayed is the dashboard. Here, you will visualize in real time all important information related to your inventory. The evolution of the consumption of items by stock. Pending purchase orders. Transactions by cost centers. How many items are at critical level. This dashboard can be customized easily by including or excluding new indicators. This can be done in a quite simple way. Just click Customize, select the chart you want to include, and click the widget. The system allows you to add your own custom report in the dashboard. If you want to organize the widget, just drag to the desired location. To finalize, click Save. Data Management. To start using Cribwise, you need to configure some basic data, such as setting vendors, manufacturers, items, stock, devices, and cost allocations. Let's go through Vendors. To add a new vendor, click Vendor and enter the supplier details like general information, address, contact person, notification, or integrations. With Cribwise, you can automate your business purchasing process Go to the Integration tab to establish a connection with your RFP system. Cribwise automates the process of sending purchase orders by B2B integrations, FTP or email. Stocks Cribwise can manage multiple stocks, whether they are satellite stocks or central stocks. In the Stock Information, you will find general information, devices and stock locations. For each stock, you can manage various devices. These devices can be classified as open stocks or electronic cabinets. You can see them in the Devices tab. The Stock Locations tab displays all the bin locations of all devices assigned to a particular stock. By selecting the guard location, you are able to choose the item that you'd like to allocate on this position. So you designate which item should be stored in which storage location. Devices. Devices are created according to the level of security you need for your items. For example, a device can be an open shelf, where items are not locked, or an electronic cabinet, where items are securely locked. Both open stocks and electronic cabinets are controlled by an interface called Shop Floor Interface or SFI. Open stocks are controlled on the internet through a regular web browser. Electronic cabinets are controlled by a computer attached directly in the cabinet. The usage data is synchronized to the admin portal in a predefined interval. 
cost allocations. To control costs, Cribwise allows you to create a very flexible cost allocation structure suitable for most companies. In the cost allocation area, you can create cost allocation structures that will be used to stratify tool usage costs as well as to define physical tool application locations, facilitating traceability of items on the shop floor. Item Registration In the Item Registration section, you can enter all data related to items, such as code, item name, descriptions, graphics and other information. Vendor data is stored in the Vendors tab. There you can log the vendor price purchase code and other information regarding the purchase of an item. In the Documents area, you can assign several file formats in the item registration. For example, it is possible to include drawings, images and others. To add a document, click Add, select the type of document, upload it and save. Through the Stock Locations tab, you will see the guard locations where an item is assigned. You can also check the quantities available at each guard location. In this area, you can set the resupply points for each stock and device. To do this, click Add Device Assignment, select the device, click OK and set the maximum quantity and the order point, then save. You can also assign guard locations by clicking the Assign Stock Location button, selecting a stock, choosing the device so the system knows where you want to assign the tool. You can limit the maximum physical amount for each storage location or choose the unlimited physical amount, depending on your device. For items imported from the internet, ISO parameters are presented in the parameters area as technological information for each item. For a quick way to check if the item has an active purchase order, access the Active Purchase Orders tab, where all active orders for this item are displayed. You can also check the latest pick. Cribwise displays information like date, username, quantity and the cost center allocation for the last picks. Notifications are a very interesting function in the software. They can be presented on the screen directly to the user or by email in each of the actions, like withdrawn, return, purchase and others. Just activate the desired option and enter the message you want to present to users. Then tell which email address the messages should be sent to. Purchase order lists. Purchase orders are a list of items that must be purchased for replenishment of stocks. There are two ways to create purchase order lists. Automatically through scripts or manually. Here is how to set up automated orders. In the area Purchase Order Lists, you may set up automated orders according to your procurement requirements. Here you are able to create custom scripts to meet the most diverse needs and parameters of supply. For example, you can create purchase orders based on maximum quantities, order point and minimum touch. You can also set up the time for when the purchase orders should run by selecting a specific date or a time interval. Purchase orders are flexible to manage. The system allows you to set up the orders by supplier, stocks or devices so you can optimize your stock management exactly as you want. The Cribwise system also allows the automatic sending of order lists directly to suppliers through email FTP or B2B interfaces. By making the script active, according to the defined range, orders will be generated automatically. When you want to create orders manually, you must click the New Order button. Then you should indicate the order type, the supplier and the stock. In the tab Purchased Items, you should include the items you want to buy, clicking the Add Items button. Select the device and the items, then define the quantities. Finally, you define how to send the order. It can be sent to the supplier or the person who needs to receive this order. Click on Send and it's done. With Cribwise, you have control over what has been purchased, the expected delivery date and the items received. Receipt of purchased items. For the receipt of items, let's use the shop floor interface. 
Shop Floor Interface, or simply SFI, is an intelligent and intuitive operating interface of Cribwise. The operation of the functions of sending and receiving items is done easily and quickly, without losing any important information. Just access it from an electronic locker or even from a web browser. To fill the stocks, go to SFI. Click on Stock Management to access the restocking area, where you can search by order list, select the list and click on Receive Goods. Then select the receiving items to inform quantity and confirm. You can also receive goods by locating the items. Simply select the received item, select the order list, enter the quantity and end the receipt. Selecting and picking items. Through the SFI, select the Pick function. Then choose the Cost Allocation option according to the options defined in the Portal Administrator. On the Item Selection screen, choose the desired item. The relevant item's information is displayed. This can be accessed by clicking on the Information tab. Set the quantities and click Pick. When finished with the picking process, the machine will dispense the desired item. In the case of open stocks, the system will record the transaction. Reports In the Reports section, you have access to all tabular reports and graphs of consumption and tool usage costs. You can also create customised reports in a simple and fast way. Just click Create, define the name and type of report, select the desired fields, like a pivot table, save and run the report. Reports can be scheduled for automatic sending to emails or FTP servers. Just click Schedule, set the fields with the desired options and save. Reports can also be exported to Excel or PDF formats. That is the end of our tour. Cribwise is the software you need to automate tool procurement, streamline usage of consumable and durable goods, reduce working capital and improve your shop floor productivity. Visit our website, cribwise.com, to learn more.